John Mann, the, the Labour Party MP, was on the programme and he, uh, he said that he felt that there were a lot of um, MPs this morning waking up nervous because he thinks that there will be a lot more of this sexism and misogyny mm -hmm. and bad language and bad behaviour that will be coming out. You well, are, you've been in Parliament for longer than most people. What do you think? Well, actually, they must better behave now than they used to be because uh, mm -hmm. conventions have changed. I mean, sensitivities... Uh, set correct sensitivities about how you behave are uh, much better now than they were 40 years ago. And the first women who came into the House of Commons, I suspect, did have to put up with a lot of rotten nowadays regarded as sexist behaviour. Mm. But at the time, some of the old cultures were just regarded as a bit of fun and, uh, you know, sort of uh, teasing. Um, I mean, I don't know anything about the allegations. It's just the kind of thing that in today's media atmosphere will get everybody wildly excited. It's so much more interesting than politics and mm. government and things. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it's true or not, I haven't a clue. Well, I, I don't understand why any MP goes on social media because they'll dig up things from, from when, from well, you know, this was when you're years, 50. This was 15 years ago. Precisely, was, when uh, you're 50, yeah. they'll dig up things you put on your pad when you were five yeah. and it'll all become a great scandal of the day. Yeah. I know, first, first let's find out what, right. uh, what actually anybody is proved to have done. Well, let's you talk about politics. Let's get on to that. I was thinking on the way in this morning, uh, you must look at the political landscape that we are looking at now, this, this year, with astonishment. Just, just sum it up. We've got a Communist Party of Great Britain which will not put candidates up for election where Labour is standing because they think Labour are far left enough. We've got a shadow chancellor who's a self-avowed Marxist who's written on his Facebook page that he would like to foment the downfall of capitalism and um, a sort of neo-Marxist leader of the opposition and they might very well win the next election. Could you possibly have predicted this two years ago? Well, no. I mean, the great thing about politics is you normally can't predict things, but I've never seen anything like this at all. It's, no. it's quite a complete madhouse compared with the conventional politics of 20 years ago. And as you say, politics is rather polarising, which, which means, you know, more extreme left people, more extreme right people than there used to be. Although I don't think the public, by and large, have shifted to following extremists very much. So it's all a very odd setup. What I would say about the very hard left leadership of the Labour Party, which you quite accurately describe, is that about four out of five Labour MPs don't approve of being led by a near Marxist Trotsky, call him what you are, Will. He's a very nice Trotsky. Makes me nostalgic. He's a good old 1960s lefty. There used to be lots of them when I started. Uh, but he doesn't represent the Labour vote. And most, 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 party, most, yeah. Labour, most Labour MPs would be as appalled as I am if he became Prime Minister. Uh, but are you confident uh, that if there was a, a leadership contest within the uh, Conservative Party now, uh, then there was a, another snap general election, that the Conservatives could win again? Now, I don't think anybody can predict events. So I've never seen anything like it. Hmm. Uh, anybody who comes in here and tells you they know what's going to happen in British politics between now and Christmas what's your is hunch? deceiving himself yeah. or what? herself. But you, you've seen so much. What is your hunch about Theresa May's future? Theresa May, I, I personally, my, my hunch, my, my belief is that the Conservative Party will be completely mad to have a leadership election. And I think she you know, is going to be the leader for the foreseeable but future. But she can't lead them into the next election, can she? I mean, she bombed the last election. It was, but, it was, it was embarrassingly bad. The, uh, the, the, the last election was embarrassingly was bad. But uh, it, again, when I, when I, I've, I've just said that I don't think anybody could tell, tell you really. I'm, I couldn't confidently tell you. I know but where, you don't where think will be she'll leave, you don't think she'll lead the Tories into the next election, I you? haven't a clue where they're going to be you in 2020, 2022. If, no. you have, if you have a guest who comes in here and says, now I'll tell you what's going to happen well, okay, in 2022... Well, OK, off-camera, I was sitting... They're, and he's an idiot. I was he knows sitting nothing about a, politics. I was the sitting next to a, totally a, for, a very, very senior former Tory politician. He's out of the game now, but he still has his contacts. And I asked him these questions. And off the record, he said... I won't use the language you use, but he said basically was stuffed, but he didn't use the word stuffed. And he said there's no question in his mind that Jeremy Corbyn will be the next Prime Minister of this country when the next election comes along, whenever that is. Well, he's probably a friend of mine, so I won't be very rude about him, but, I mean, it's a theory. Mm. I'm, I'm not at all sure that, that uh, Jeremy is within a whisker of getting in. Jeremy himself, you can tell from his demeanour, he thinks the great moment is about to arrive. Now, mm. he, he never imagined he'd be Prime Minister. He never even, never even tried to become Prime Minister before. He was happy as a backbench rev revolutionary, rebellious uh, mm. Trotskyite. Uh, now, suddenly, these bizarre events have occurred. Actually, I think, faced with the reality that he might be Prime Minister, 
I think the Labour Party, the British, a lot of British people would not vote for him. A lot of people voted for him at the last election, in my opinion, because the experts made it quite clear that he was going to be massacred and he couldn't get in. It was a protest vote. He was a safe protest vote. Now, the idea of somebody that left-wing might be made Prime mm. Minister will actually put off quite a lot of people. That sounds who like a comfort Labour blanket to me, Ken. It's not a comfort blanket. I said I don't know. I think if an election... Again, the one thing I think would be madness at a time when the country is faced, facing lots of and problems is to have an election. I don't know what would happen if we had an election now. Most of the public would groan and say, <laughs> not another election. Uh, that would be the main reaction.